Aaron, thanks for joining us. What a great night for you on a personal note and for the team. Yeah, no, definitely. It was an all-round good performance. I feel like we worked hard in the training ground to, to get this performance done. Um, good to get over the line and just buzzing to be in the next round. How much did being in front in the first game, 2-0, encourage you and make you feel as though you could get a result here. I know Derby came back in the first leg, yeah. but did that still give you that belief that you could come to the Pride Park and win? No, definitely. It's a confidence boost. If you go 2-0 up against a team that's a league above, definitely get a confidence boost. Um, obviously disappointing to, to get the draw in the end, but we were definitely confident coming into this um, and happy to get the win now. So, yeah. Your confidence must be sky high after what has been a great night on a personal note. Yeah, no, definitely. I always got to keep the self-belief in me. Um, I think the staff has been very patient with me. I had to wait for my chance and um, I have to give my praise to them because I was lacking a bit of fitness as well. So I feel like I'm back to getting, getting, getting to sharpness. So yeah, but definitely a confidence boost. Do you still think there's more to come and the goals that you scored against Derby will give you even more confidence? Oh no, 100%, 100%. I still feel like I'm still a bit off it a bit, but definitely feel like I'm getting back to full fitness. So yeah, feeling good. And you said the, the management team has been careful with you and you know and been patient with you you've been patient as well I suppose it's frustrating when you're not starting but when you get into the team you have to take that chance no 100% I feel like that's how football goes um, you always got to be patient there's always a chance and just you just got to make sure you take it so just always got to be patient and ready for your chance didn't start particularly well goal behind in the first three minutes but you responded well talk us through that first goal first of all um, yeah it was a slow pretty slow start but we always keep belief. We always try to play out. So, um, and the first goal is always a. It's, it's always good to get the get the first goal out of the way. And obviously the second came. So very excited. But you, your first one was beautiful, sweet, and you took your markers on. Got away from. Them. Did you think I'm unleashing the shot or or I'm going to pass to Rio? No, I've always thought of shooting. To be fair, um, even though I'm right footed, my left foot is better. I'm better at shooting than my left. So um, I was never passing that. Never. And again, you were in with the shot for the second goal. Got a deflection, but you were hitting the target. Yeah, no, definitely. I'll, I'll take it all day. It's, it's on target, so I'll take the goal happily. What's it been like in the dressing room since that final whistle's gone and you've moved away from what was, a, well, a wild sort of set of supporters who were loving the celebrations? Um, I think it's, it's definitely hard digging into the last minutes and grinding out that win, but... Um, over the moon in the dressing room, definitely just to get the get the win over the line and the boys are buzzing, the boys are buzzing, so yeah, good feeling. It just shows how strong the squad is, isn't it? You know, there's a lot of players out yeah. and there's a lot of youngsters around it as well, you know, and you, you're all all working together, that's a great feeling. Yeah, 100%, it's a, it's a very young team, young, hungry, um, everyone's willing to learn, great dressing room, can't, can't fault any other lads, it's, it's a brilliant dressing room to be in. Just talk us through it then, two goals for you into the second round of the FA Cup. How do you wrap it up, how do you feel? Amazing, amazing feeling, amazing feeling, no words.